Hello, this is Pastor Nick Hood, and today I want to give you a little preview about what I'm going to be preaching on this Sunday, which is holiday madness and the favor of God. But why do I put these two together? For many of us, uh, next week begins the holiday season, Thanksgiving. And uh, with Thanksgiving, uh, there's a whole segment of our population who gets really stressed sometimes about how do I make the turkey come out in time with the dressing and the dressing come out in time with the green beans or the cornbread or uh, the sweet potato pie, the cherry pie, uh, whatever it is that's going together with my Thanksgiving meal. And then another part of this holiday madness is who do we invite? Who do I invite to sit at my Thanksgiving table? Uh, and uh, is my table big enough for everybody? And then a flip side of that is there are some people who are by themselves who get really uptight uh, and depressed during Thanksgiving uh, because they have no table to sit at. They have no one to invite them and no one to share the meal with. And so you've got all of these dynamics at play at Thanksgiving. Then we fast forward to Christmas. Uh, you know, there's Black Friday where there are the sales, uh, you know, where supposedly you can get a better deal on some things. Uh, but then the issue of who am I going to look for a gift for Two, do I have enough money to buy the gift that I want to give them? And three, am I going to be comfortable uh, if, you know, there's somebody I routinely give a gift to on Christmas Day, uh, but I just don't have the money to give the kind of gift that I'd like to give? And uh, am I comfortable enough in myself to give a smaller, less expensive gift? Uh, all of this adds into what I call, it feeds into holiday madness. And uh, the Bible verse that I'm going to be preaching from on Sunday is from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1. In the beginning, it says, a good name is, to, uh, is better than riches. But then the next part of that verse says, um, it talks about favor. Favor is better than silver and gold. And what kind of favor are we talking about? I think the wisdom writer is talking about the favor of God. The favor of God, my friends, is one, free. The favor of God is particular. The favor for Tanya is different than the favor for Nick. The favor for Nick is different than the favor that is extended to Denise. Uh, the favor that's extended to Denise is different than the favor that's extended to Steve because the God that we serve is a particularized God. And what I mean by that is the favor is particularized uh, in a way where the blessings of God are relevant for you, but they're also relevant for me. And they might be mutually exclusive, but still is all in a blessing. And so the point that I'm gonna be making Sunday is that uh, we need to fight the temptation uh, to get freaked out uh, at Christmas, to get freaked out at Thanksgiving, to live within our means, to buy a turkey that you can afford. Uh, if you can't afford a turkey, come to the Plymouth United Church of Christ this Friday, uh, excuse me, Monday, the 25th, 930 in the morning. And uh, if you can afford an extra turkey, bring a turkey with you. And uh, we, along with the Detroit Lions alumni, will be passing out turkeys on Monday morning. Until then, uh, this is Pastor Nick Hood, and let me remind you that this Sunday, we will not have the 11 o'clock worship service. We will worship at 8.30. I'll be preaching about, uh, you know, this holiday madness at 8.30 in the morning. But at 11, we will go into a full church meeting. Now, why are we doing this? Because we have church members that come from everywhere. And so to make it a little more convenient on everybody, particularly the people who come from the farthest distance, the meeting is going to be at church on Sunday at 11 o'clock. Yes, we will have some food but uh, there will not be a traditional church service. So until Sunday or the next time, this is Pastor Nick Hood coming to you live from the Plymouth United Church of Christ located at 600 East Warren Avenue. And I encourage you to bring somebody with you this Sunday, even if you're a church member, but you have a friend who's wondered about church and how churches operate. Maybe they're even a little cynical about church. This is actually a good Sunday to bring them because they can get to see how our church really rolls, how we vote. We have a full democracy, one member, one vote. The pastor does not appoint, neither does the pastor disappoint. 
And so I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. God bless. And remember, I'm praying for you.